I'll make a final point here. Everything you and I do is in the scope of an exam. There is nothing you and I get, can do outside the scope of an exam. I'm talking to you right now. You are examining me. Everything I say is under examination. Every word I use is under examination. I look at you. You are under exam. You make friends. You're under exam. You make business transactions. You're under exam. You can never escape an exam. And human beings need to be examined constantly because without an exam, you can never really know the value of that person. Allah is testing us in this world. You have been, we have created death and life to test you. It is not for Allah to know. Just like when a teacher gives an exam, the teacher doesn't need to know whether you're going to pass or fail. The teacher is going to give you the exam. You need to know whether you can pass or fail so that you can take your degree and so that you can get your job and so that you can demand a good salary. Look at the logic. It's so simplistic down to earth. Nothing you and I do can escape this facet. That everything in our life today is under examination. And without an exam, you and I will never know how good we are. In fact, humankind feels very comfortable in his own facade. But the minute a trial comes, the true nature of that person shows up. Shaitan, a classic example. He looked good until he was tried. When he was tried, how? He was told, bow. He says, I can't. Aha. The real color shows up. The person's intelligence shows up when he fails an exam. A person's intellect shows up when he has a conversation with someone under constant trial. That's the reality of our existence. But the amazing thing about this trial, my brothers, I'd like us and sisters to put into perspective, and then I will end. Today I'm a bit systematic in this, forgive me, but there's a need for this. You find it in exam, a wise student who's going to pass an exam is going to be the one who knows how to section or program or allocate the amount of time subject to the amount of the exam. Don't you agree? Let me give you an example. Say you go to a class and you're taking an exam and the teacher says the questions are 60. There are 60 questions. It doesn't really matter. It could be one, six. As, like people say, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, what's the difference? It's all the same. It's how you segment it. So let us say, for argument's sake, 60 questions. What does a wise student do? Teacher says, 60 minutes, you take the exam. After 60 minutes, I pull the paper. Wherever you are shall be your judgment. Why a student says, I have one minute for each question? 60 minutes, 60 questions. I must allocate a maximum of one minute. So that's a wise student. But how are you going to be able to fulfill each question in a minute? It means you have to be prepared. Otherwise, you will run into overlaps. Typical exam. We've all taken exams. I know how it feels. When you don't know an answer, you just get so disturbed. And the time suddenly goes faster. That's a wise student. But now let me ask you a question. What do you think would happen to the gravity of the exam if the teacher gave you 60 questions but said, at any time, I'll take the paper? <laughs> the exam becomes even more difficult, doesn't it? Huh? Now the student has to sharpen the pencil. If you drop your pencil, it could mean maybe you'll fail the exam. Allah says, well, asrinna linsana la fi khusr. By time, man is at a loss. He thinks he's sitting in this exam, that you know he's got exactly 60 minutes apportioned. He's got enough time. I got to deal with malakul maut. You know, I got him in my pocket. I know when he's going to come to me. <laughs> no? You have no idea. No one knows. Allah is the one who has the knowledge of time. And at any moment, you will be pulled out. All oh, mankind understand the gravity of this exam. It's a three-dimensional exam that your test paper is in front of you. And at any moment, Malakul Moth will pull it away from you. And God forbid that you haven't got